Hi viewers, this is Dr. Danish Shekhar on SS Child Care channel again today with another episode which is again going to be very unique which has always been my mantra, no salt for children under the age of one year. This question is quite perplexing because all the time they ask me why should I not give sodium for my child or why should I not give salt for my child. Now one has to understand that salt under the age of one year is not easily digested and the kidneys struggle a lot because of the load that the kidneys will be able to handle by giving extra salt. So salt is very important and essential for the functioning of the body and if you look at the scientific fact about salt there are two different types of molecules that I include. One is sodium and the other one is chloride. Sodium and chloride combined is basically the common salt that we use at home and we need to understand a little baby will do need some salts that is very very essential for normal body functioning. But where does this salt come from? This salt actually comes from breast milk or if you're formula feeding the baby it comes from formula feeds or if you're giving a combination of formula and breast milk it comes from both as well. It's extremely important to understand that the child will not be able to handle that extra amount of salt if you were to add on to the food. So I always tell my patients and my parents a very simple thing. Your child's brain or the body is like a new computer drive and once you corrupt it, it's corrupted forever. You may not like having food without salt but a child wouldn't know what the taste is actually like. And it's extremely important that actually salt is introduced at a later stage and not at an earlier stage. So when you start giving food, you don't need to add any salt. Make them understand the taste and texture. As the child has not eaten salt before, they will not understand what it is. So what is the average requirement of salt? So most of you who are watching this would know what one gram would sound like. So normally if you were to wear a gold chain you'll know how many grams it is and basically a salt is basically only one gram that you need after the age of one up to the age of two years. From two to five years you'll need anywhere between two grams to three grams and an adult of my size would need about six grams of salt for normal functioning and that's the maximum limit of salt that you can use. So does it really matter? Are we taking only that much? Absolutely not. We do take more salt than that. 6 grams of salt plus the hidden salts that you take and all the foods that you consume are actually quite a lot. So we may even end up taking 8 to 10 grams of salt per day and that's quite a lot. So you might wonder what will happen to me if I am going to take so much salt. The first and foremost thing in an adult is you'll start feeling very thirsty quite often because the body needs more water to drive the salt away from you. So you can keep consuming more and more water which means the water is also going to load your system. Now the second thing also when you take so much salt your blood pressure can actually increase quite a lot and in that case you are then going to experience symptoms such as dizziness and blackouts which may also accompany with it. Excessive salt consumption in people who don't know that they have a kidney disease or a heart disease will show symptomatically and it's very important to understand that as well because the system can actually collapse and that's extremely extremely important to understand. Now last but not the least when it comes to how much salt the child should be taking in the initial stages when you don't give salt it is not going to make a difference. Later on when the child actually starts to take food and especially if it's homemade food you can add salt only a tiny pinch just as to give a little bit of that extra flavor so that the child will start taking food. Dangerous foods which contain high salt of course I don't have to say it's processed foods and especially foods like chips, cheese which are processed are basically going to have a lot more salt than what you actually need. That can have a very bad disastrous and deleterious effects. Some children when they consume a lot of salt, those children can even have fits and that is basically called as hyponatremia where there's a lot of salt and in some children when there's low salt it can cause hyponatremia which is also a medical emergency. So please don't take salt easily. It can be a very very bad poison to your child's body and some of the time I always keep asking myself is it bad in the last 30 to 40 years that we have been giving salt and sugar to our children and is that the reason why now they have more medical problems than anything else and anybody else. And that leaves me with a question for me and you to think alike do we really need to do this harm to our children which can and may have long-term side effects. Think and then ink and that's very important. 
in life and as well as in choosing the right salt. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in another episode, another interesting one hopefully very soon in the near future. Thank you very much and goodbye.